Hello everyone. Greetings and salutations. I hope you're all doing well today. Here is a short demo of Skywave Linux version 4.4, operating with the GNOME desktop environment. When you first boot the system, you're presented with the scene that is on your screen right now. There's a workspace centered on the screen. On the bottom, there's a dock with several applications available to run. And on the top of the screen in the center, there's the time and date. On the right side, there's a system tray. And then on the top left, there's an activities button. And you do have a search field centered just under the time and date. Let's assume that you start the system and click into a workspace. It's uncluttered. There are no icons. Um, if you do want to run an application, you have several ways to start them. Similarly to the i3 system, you have Rofi available. So you can use super R keys, super R, to bring up Rofi and then select an application. You can either use the up and down arrows, left and right arrows to navigate around, or you can enter some text at the very top of the screen. Hit super, for example, to limit the list to super SDR, and then simply enter. Just as an example, let's start super SDR. How about uh, Bakersfield, North Carolina? Let's see how that SDR is doing this afternoon. It's afternoon Eastern time in the continental USA. And there it is. Frequency entry with the F key. 7020 is in the amateur bands, down in the CW portion, and of course, the application automatically switches to CW. The CW mode in Super SDR is great. It's a nice narrow filter. The audio is clean. It's very nice. What do we have here? There's some digital activity that's on. Interesting, with this narrow bandwidth we have some digital noise and we have that one CW station. So let's let that run. Let's say there's one application that's operating. Perhaps uh, you want to run FL Digi in the uh, conventional manner. You would pick FL Digi with Rofi and hit it that way. In the GNOME version, you can also hit the super button and then come down to your dock and FL Digi is one of the apps that's in the dock. So hit that, FL Digi opens up. Let's pick around a little bit. Maybe I can find some PSK31. That would be good for our demo. Let's see if that happens to be PSK. We'll see it here. Switch to upper sideband mode. We've got some voice. And a few other signals that are on the band. Frequency 70. Seven one. Well, there's not much PSK working today. How about on twenty meters? Frequency fourteen zero seven zero. Okay, we're in business. We'll set that up at 14.070. 
clear this all right now who's on I seem to be catching most of these stations at the tail end of their transmissions I'm going to do one more thing the uh, key binds for the terminal are super enter and control alt T so now we've got a couple of terminals I'm going to deliberately clutter the screen with some items let's see do we have Neil fetch working on here maybe no neo fetch oh well how about uh, this other terminal how about time check or clock check I'm going to deliberately clutter the screen with several items and uh, demonstrate the purpose of this activities button. So I come over to it without even clicking on it, just hover over it. And it'll uh, pull us out of the workspace and show the screen with all three of these items uh, separated. So even if you have several windows overlaid on top of one another with a lot of clutter, the activities button will sort things out and you can choose what you want to have on top for example that one or let's say uh, I'd rather have super SDR on top there it is so it's a way to declutter and sort your applications um, down here on the dock these are all static items they don't change depending on uh, your usage of the system I put these here in a certain order and they'll be in that order uh, indefinitely if you started a session and you ran that session for years using all of these they will never shift around which is different from what you'll get if you use Rofi these are constantly shifting depending on your usage if I start bringing up pulse effects and use it repeatedly it will gradually work its way to the top of the list I've been practicing this video different arrangements several times and using super SDR and it has gone to the top of the list with SDR map number two and Firefox down here is number three in Rofi the very top items are actually the window list so it's telling us that there's a window for super SDR there's a terminal, there's FL Digi, and there's uh, OBS Studio, which is on workspace number one. So Rofi works a bit differently than the uh, GNOME desktop way of showing you what's running. Also, uh, if you want to change workspaces, you can start a fresh workspace by clicking on the blank. Or there's a workspace number two that we've been using. Workspace number one has the screen recorder. That's what's operating over there. So that's how you separate your applications and become aware of what's running and what's not running. And, you know, I'm going to close out some of this now. We'll just keep these on here. How are things going on uh, PSK? KM4 Papa is working uh or ve3 charlie mike bravo is working km4p okay how about this one kq4 cia so there's a bit of activity and there's a demonstration of decoding digital signals in fl digi we're going to quit out of that This is primarily how I use the Kiwi SDR servers because Super SDR works really well. The audio quality is good. I don't have to go through the menus and turn off compression to hear good clean audio. And uh, the resource usage is really light with this Python application. 
Well, let's quit out of this one now. Shift, escape. Shift, escape to quit out of that. And let's go down here into the dock. So the other items are the uh, SDR map. If you haven't seen the other video, the SDR map is the same map that you'll get on linkfinell.net and on skywavelinux.com. It's the Dyatlov map maker populated with the current operating Kiwi SDRs and a certain subset of the web SDRs. So this is the view of the activity right now. These are all servers which are online and available. It's early evening in Europe. The very strong 49 meter broadcasters are on strong nighttime signal. So these are all bright red indicating high SNRs. Look at the SNR scores here, 32 dB. And here's another, um, not the web SDR, here's one, 40 dB. Here's another one at 31 dB. And apparently some listeners are tuned in, enjoying some signals in... Uh, in Africa, Nairobi, Kenya. This server has a 10 dB SNR score. Eight slots and eight users are on right now. Cyprus, 20 dB SNR and it's packed with four users. Likewise, a couple of them are up at capacity in Japan and uh, Taiwan, Eastern, uh, oh, that's Hong Kong, Hong Kong. So we have one that's in China, in Chongqing. And down in Hong Kong, there are, I believe, two SDRs. The geographic coordinates for those two are so close together that one must zoom in pretty close in order to see where they are. Here's one with a 17 dB SNR in Waterfall Bay. And then to the north, there's another one operated by VR2 Bravo Golf with a 17 dB score, eight slots, eight listeners right now. So that's what's happening in the world of the Kiwi SDRs. There's another thing that I would like to demonstrate on here, the SDR stream. This is a curated list of specific stations and specific networks. For example, a lot of the activity on 3860 to receive 3860 up in the north, down in the south, in the west, or northwest. And these are all dual SDRs. If I select one of these, two different Kiwi SDRs are going to pop up in the browser. And then it's up to the user to pan one audio to the left, one audio to the right, or perhaps disconnect one of those if it's got noise or reception is not good. DRM, French language, crazy 7200 kilohertz in the Midwest and the Northeast. These were all set up to save time in getting an SDR on to watch certain activities. So that's what this is. How about BBC Radio 4 Longwave at the University of Twent? That's a very nice web SDR operated by the author of the software. So with one click, I have a web SDR coming up. It's pre-tuned to 198 kilohertz and the AM mode. Click to start the audio, and there it is. So this is off-the-air radio. And the essence of understanding the purpose of Skywave Linux is to know that if you have internet, you can make all kinds of noise. You can bring in broadcasts live and off-the-air from all over the world. You can listen from 
servers in Europe, South America, North America, Asia, Africa, the Middle East. You can find broadcasts just about anywhere. So there's the BBC with a live off-the-air signal. The BBC is also available via internet stream. This application here, the VLC radio playlist, will play internet radio and use the NCURSES mode to communicate with VLC. So start internet radio, BBC Radio 4, long wave it is, because there are a couple of different BBC More Radio 4s. There's a medium wave version, which is slightly city. different. Um, where it's easier for people to so this is a direct crime. stream so, from the studio. You know, it's noise free you can and high fidelity. And, and change on, it runs on in the background. Basis, There's no indication at all that it's running, if, if except that you hear it. Use that sort of information, do they? And the okay, catch so with this one can. is if you, you forget that it's running, if there's an interruption on the stream and it goes silent for a while, you wouldn't know it until the audio starts back up. And when you want to start it, hit the super button you can to show the dock, the problem is, or then what do you do the old i3 way is still here. There's a key bind for it. Five or six years ago, there were a super few S. Politicians who were like, hey, Correction, we can do I hit this. the wrong so one. This company super shift tell the police D, super the shift D brings this up, night, right? and, the and then you can is, stop well, streaming. Okay, so so that's a short demo of SkyWave Linux under GNOME. And really the basic difference is that you have a dock here to pick your applications. I don't know if I've shown you uh, the selector. If you hit this button here, it'll show you all of your applications and move through all of the pages of those applications. So you have that. Rofi is still available under Super R. It's still here, and a lot of the other keybinds still work. In fact, I kept every keybind that didn't have a conflict with the GNOME system. So by and large, you can navigate the same way in either one. And that's it. Enjoy SkyWave Linux under GNOME or i3, whichever your preference happens to be. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Alpha, Mike, Foxtrot.